Okay, start items for Balloona. That's tall. Really good. Uh, you auto attack the wave a lot as Balloona. You cleave in hammer stance and a passive of death toll procs off every hit. Gives you a lot of sustain early. Really good item. Gives you a little bit of power, increases your kill potential. Really decent. Um, if you're up against a physical god, you want to go short bow, because you're going to turn this into Ichabar, which again, as I've talked about before in previous video, really good as a boxing item against other physical gods. Then we finish off with our two pots. 1500 gold, spent really efficiently. Really good start. If you're against a magical god, you can forego the short bow because you don't want to go into Ichabar. And you can just start off boots one. And then get a couple of multi pots as well as your health pots, just to help you sustain. Say that. Four plus two. You have a hundred gold left over, so if you want, you could get more pots. Bang bang. You think it's overkill though? Let's get four or two, save the hundred gold. It's not the worst thing in the world to save gold at the start of the game. You could even get a ward out if you want. Okay, um, you can also start with the OPest item in the game. That's tier 2 steel mill, rush mystical mill. It's fine as well. Start this, you get two pots. Bang bang. This is a decent start. You, you sacrifice a lot of your kill potential, which you have as Bologna. Because Bologna wants to be super aggressive early game. Super, super, super aggressive. And you want to try and kill the enemy god quickly. You kind of sacrifice that with this build. But it's, it's fine if you want to rush mystical mill. Okay, so let's imagine this is our start for now. Okay, so build against physical god. So, obviously we start in, because we've already started it, Ichabal. Really good boxing item. Uh, swings the uh, 1v1 in your favour. Attack speed's really nice, allows you to proc your heal more and your scourge. Allows you to block stacks more. Really good. Then we go into our boots. Now boots, warrior tab you can get if you want more hit, uh, more power in your bludgeon. Um, but I like ninja tabby just because you get to proc your scourge more, you get to proc your blocks more, and I think that's super important when you play Bologna. I think that's what she's all about. Next we go into more tech speed. <laughs> Uh, executioner, you don't get chins really on Bologna. I mean, you can because if you're up against a Hades who's building Warlock Slash plus Ethereal, he doesn't have any defense, then yeah, go chins. Yeah, it's a strong item, it's kind of more expensive, but yeah, if they have super loads of health, go chins. But they will just build Executioner. And then finally, our good old friend, Frostbrand Hammer. Again, super awesome with Bologna. She doesn't have much in the way of sticking to enemies. She has a movement speed and slow on her one. But apart from that, that's pretty much it. So Frostbound Hammer and enemies are never going to be able to leave you over. <laughs> Especially in Scourge Stance because it has a increased melee range. So you can use that to kind of get the first proc off and then switch into a different stance. So switch into your other stance to just melee them or just stay in Scourge Stance. After that, we're going into our defense. We want to start with either Midgarian or Mian. I've talked about this before. You can go for either one of these. We'll just do this. And then finally, situational last item. I always like to go magical defense. You can get any one of these. Stone Gaia, obviously. I've talked about Stone Gaia, but I love Stone Gaia. <laughs> it's amazing. So yeah, this that could be your full build. If you're going against a magical god. We don't want Ikval because Ikval doesn't give us anything. We just want to go straight in Ninja Tabby into Stone Guy. Now the enemy mage can never kill us and we can still kill them because we're Blona and we are OP. We are a warrior. We have lots of base damage. <laughs> we have lots of base stats. So it's really nice. Lots of sustain. Um, Obviously gives you what, plus 25 HP 5, plus 10 MP 5, which generates 2% of your max health for 5 seconds. Really strong item. If you want also, you can just go Emerald Talisman. Emerald Talisman's pretty nice for a tier 2 item. Uh, it 
still has passive, it's like slightly worse passive, it has the HP type and the MP5. It's pretty decent. You can just go this if you want to save a bit of your gold and go more into your damage. Then we seriously need some damage online, so we go executioner, now we can start absolutely murdering people. Uh next frostbound. So we can stick to people and murder them. <laughs> then we have options. We can go more attack speed. I like to go into more attack speed at this point. You can go oboe for the hyper attack speed plus the passive. Or you can go into assi for a bit of life steal, a bit of penetration, which is nice. And you know the uh, passive can keep you alive in a, uh, a dangerous situation. We'll just build oboe because I like oboe the best. And then last item, any of these is fine. You can also go with Witchblade for physical defense plus attack speed and the reducing aura. It's worth noting that the Witchblade passive doesn't stack with the Frostbound passive. So this, yeah, attack speed reduced by 15%, attack speed reduced by 20%. Now I believe that this passive overwrites this passive, so they're only going to be slowed by 15%, not 20%. So, yeah, which blade's kind of awkward with Frostbone Hammer, but if you want some more damage, want more attack speed, go for it. I honestly just prefer Mid Guardian Mill. <laughs> Mid Guardian Mill's amazing. Um. Let me move these over here. Um, power. So yeah. And then obviously if you start mystical mail, your build changes slightly. It's pretty much the same though. Um, so you're rushing mystical mail, so this is your first item. You don't have death toll. Ninja Tavi, because you need the boots online after rushing mystical mail, because you need that movement speed at this point, you're just going to be too slow without it. We want some more damage, so we go executioner, we want to be able to stick to people, we want some health, we have frostbound, we want more attack speed, we want oboe, and then we want more defense. Just only go. Bang. Again, this follows my principle of two defensive items, two damage item, boots, and a utility. Utility in this case is al normally almost frostbound because of how well it uh, so well it synergizes with Balloon's kit. Um, but you can switch this out maybe for a Witchblade, switch this out for an Emian, switch this out for a Mid Guardian as well as Mystical, switch this out for more damage. You can switch it out for Chins. But Frostbound normally is the best. Actives. Blink can be decent on Bologna. You can blink in, one them, slow them. It's pretty nice. Teleport obviously is pretty good. Uh, shell's fine, bead's fine, shield's fine. Now shield, I've done this before. <laughs> Which is something pretty stupid you don't want to do. So if you disarm people, don't then activate shield the underworld, because they won't be able to do <laughs> any auto attack damage to you. <laughs> so don't do that. I've done that before, it's pretty stupid. Weakening is really good against healers. Uh, Heavenly is good against something like Arquash. Don't ever get Hog, Hog's terrible. Aegis can be good against the Coco Khan or Upside. So yeah, this is pretty much the build, similar to Osiris. Bologna plays quite similarly to Osiris. Um, she's a bit more, hmm, how do you describe Bologna compared to Osiris? A bit more, less tanky, more damage, I guess you would say. She has a bit less survivability, a bit more oomph. She's a bit scarier, a bit more assassin-like. Um, so yeah, that concludes God Builds. Now let's move on to counter matchups and bad matchups. Okay, so let's begin by talking about assassins that you might meet. Arachne, pff, Arachne I think is pretty trash. She's good in 1v1, but I think Bologna can deal with her. Arachne relies quite a lot on auto attacks to get off your abilities, and Bologna can just disarm her, <laughs> or block her, so it's fine. 
should be a pretty easy win for Bologna in the Silver Lane. Basquet can be a bit annoying. Uh, the cats can be pretty detrimental. Um, also, Bastet, a lot of their damage is kind of like in the form of poke in terms of abilities, not in auto attack damage, so Bologna can't really negate a lot of it. And she can be hard to lock down with a leap in, leap out nonsense. But again, you can just build physical defense, and then you should really outperform with Bastet late game in team fights. Fenrir, again, he's scary, but if you can survive him, it's fine. <laughs> Loki, um, again, Loki doesn't do very well against Warriors because Warriors can just bully him quite a lot. A little trick I've learnt is when he goes invisible to try and um, get his decoy down the wave. If you use your bludgeon on the swing, you'll get a little damage number pop up if you hit him. And then you can use that to home in with your, bl with your bludgeon and hit him where he is. So I found that to be quite useful. Um, what else? Najar, whatever. <laughs> That's pretty much the only gods, assassins you see in solo lane nowadays. Warriors, Raven, oh my god. If you come up against a Raven as Bologna, it is the easiest thing in the world. You will just destroy him. <laughs> I just, I won't talk about it anymore than that. Um, okay, so all your ability based warriors, Chak, Guanyu, Hercules, Sunwakong, Tier, Mana. Uh, Bologna does fine against. Uh, if they build physical defense, you can't. You don't really have much kill potential against them. But they won't have much kill potential against you, so it's kind of whether you will outscale a lot of them in the late game. You'll do more than a Chuck late game. You'll probably do more than a Guan Yu. Hercules is pretty strong. He has a lot of CC. He has really strong mid game, so he can be a bit scary. Um, Sun Wukong. You can't really kill Sun Wukong. Because of his alt um, and his bird form, you decide to lock him down. Tia, okay. Um, one thing I forgot to mention here is with Hercules and Tia, is they can interrupt Bologna's bludgeon. So during the bludgeon, I said it's two stage. During the first stage, you can be knocked out of it. So knock up, stunned, anything, silenced. You can be taken out of it. So. Tia and Hercules, obviously Hercules can use his Earthbreaker. It's called Earthbreaker? I think so. It's called Earthbreaker? Yeah, so he can use his Earthbreaker to take you out of it and Tia can use his Fearless. And that can be pretty annoying. Um, it's hard to clear the wave then. You still stick, you stay in your hammer stance. So you still go into the hammer so you can still hammer down the wave. But yeah, it can be pretty annoying. Um, Cyrus. It's pretty easy, I think, for Bologna. She can disarm him. She can block his attacks. Um, if he ults on top of Bologna, Bologna ult will actually come up faster if you're quick enough. If you're quick in the draw, and you can ult just straight on top of yourself and hit him. <laughs> you can chase him if he ults away. You can chase him with your ult. Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. And Odin, you don't really see in the solo lane. Guardians, okay. Athena, again, can be annoying because she can taunt you out of your bludgeon and clear the wave with her abilities. It's a bit annoying, but you know, it's Athena, she's not going to do much in the lane. Kabragan, whatever. Hades is a bit annoying. Um, Blown it can kill him quite easily um, because she has a lot more damage than Hades does. She can ult on top of his ult to gain the protection, do some damage to him, stay alive inside his ult and just auto attack him. <laughs> Um, you can easily kill a Hades as Bologna. You don't have to be too scared. And then Sobek you don't really see much anymore. Sobek used to be annoying when Sobek was played a lot because his tail would knock you out of bludgeon. But you don't really see Sobek that much anymore. So, And Ymir, obviously Ymir can freeze you out of your bludgeon. Um, okay, so I've talked now a lot about CC's knocking Bologna out of her bludgeon. And this is the reason why a lot of people prefer Bologna in jungle to solo. Because... Bologna has a lot more counter matchups in solo than some other gods. So it's easier just to put her in jungle and have her be there and not have to worry about her being countered and being killed. So yeah. Okay, mages. Bologna does pretty well against mages. 
can kill them quite easily. Especially if she like rushes a frostbone hammer so they can never get away from you. Um, obviously a disarm blocks that extremely much against ability based mages like Yarmus or Ra. But the Vulcan, but it's mostly it's pretty easy matchup. Aokwang is pretty scary, obviously, because Aokwang damage is OP. You can be easily killed by an Aokwang. You just have to play it well. Next. Hunters. Again, Hunters. Okay, if you come up against the Hunters Blona, you will just like a free win. Do, uh, hunters do terribly against Blona. They get disarmed, they get block stacked. They try to leap away. Blona chases them with her ult. The legend hits for a million points of damage. You'll just kill hunters over and over and over and over again. I mean, it's great. <laughs> you really want to hope you come up against a hunter. Okay, so that concludes God matchups. Let's move on to some gameplay.